Hello, I'm going to show you how and when to use master pages in InDesign when you're designing multiple page document. And I'm going to do this using an InDesign document, a planner for 2021, which I have created. And if you're interested in downloading this planner, there's some links underneath. If you look in the pages palette, and if you don't have the pages palette up, you'll go window pages there, and that will get the pages palette up. And you'll see the thumbnails of the pages here. And if you double click on one of the pages, it will bring it up, of course. Up here, you have the master pages. And you can have as many master pages as you want. In order to create a new master page, you just go to the corner there and do a new master instead of insert pages which is where you would insert a page down here if you look um, at page one that's a very standard page and page two and three as well they don't have much on them but when you get to page four and five you'll see there's a b at the corner there and there is on every other page after that now why is that and that's because these pages are based on the master here and it's been given a name although that name isn't very good but there we go so if you double click on this page here this will be your master and the reason why we've done it like this is because we're creating a planner and it's got repeated elements on every page we don't want to create them every single time or even copy and paste them every single time on a new page so all we want to do is put them on a master once and then when we create a new page we drag it down from the master to the pages and it would have all those repeated elements on it. The other thing you can do is you can just right click or go on control click on a Mac, insert pages and then you specify which master page you want to insert. So now I'm going to show you how to add elements to all of these pages now that we've set it up on a master page. So what we've got here is a planner. What happens if I wanted to add a holiday date, say Monday the 11th of January is a holiday. So what happens if I want to say, oh, it's, it's Christmas Day that day. I know it's not Christmas Day on Monday the 11th of January, but you know what I mean. You wouldn't do that on the actual page of the document. Why? Because as you're doing holidays on this document, you want them to be always in the same style, always in the same place on the page. So it'd be much better just to add this on the master page. So this is what you do. So you go to the master B, you know it's master B of course because it has that little B at the corner of the page thumbnail and then you've got to decide where you want to put your holidays on the pages. And now of course not every day is going to have a holiday but we can put the text frame in there and then only enter onto the text frame when we want to. So where are we going to put them? Well, we'll probably put them up here, the top left hand corner on that side and the top right hand corner on that side. So let's go and do it. So we want to create a text box and we want to put it right in the corners. So we'll drag it out here and and we want to put it here right in the corner there. So you probably are going to sort of say Christmas Day here or something like that. Let's give it a serif style, make it regular and let's make it a little bit bigger. But we don't want to make it too big so it's fighting with the day. Actually, no, on the other hand, let's make it very bold. Probably better to make it tint of black as well something like that let's make the leading a little bit bigger because you know, there might be a two holidays on one day we're happy with the style and we're happy with the placement of the text frame so we're going to have to repeat this on all the other days so we'll drag that down holding down option and shift option to repeat it and shift to make sure it's vertically constrained and it doesn't matter we're getting these all wrong because we'll get the bottom one right right in the right place and then all we got to do is select all of these and go to align and distribute the objects by the top edges and notice the Tuesday and the Wednesday days as I press that button they are then put into the correct place and then to do the other three days we'll select those three using the move tool holding down option and shift option to duplicate the text boxes and shift to constrain it and let's just zoom in here show we 
got the text frame is exactly where we want it that's pretty much what we want t for type tool and then range them to the right so that's exactly what we want but just to show you how these master pages work now if we look at all the other pages it's every, every day is christmas day which is not what we want we just delete everything because we don't want it to be christmas day every day that's all we need to do because now if we go to the page and we might as well pick Christmas Day as we've been talking about it. 25th, this, oh God, I didn't, I didn't delete that oblique there. Um, I do apologize for that. I will go back and do that. So here we are, Saturday the 25th of December 2021 and we want to put that Christmas Day. So we click to find the text box. Oh, it's not there. This is one thing everyone forgets. You have to do Command Shift click and that releases the element from the master page otherwise it just doesn't become live which is kind of cool and it also brings it to the front as well that's the other thing you need to remember and then you just double click and then you can put Christmas Day and it'll be in the correct style just to show you that I should have deleted that thing I'll delete it now we'll go back to Christmas Day and there it is and the thing has been deleted. So there's a long way to show you how to use master pages on an InDesign document. I hope you enjoyed that. My name's Rob from robcubbon.com. I'll see you in another video.